Hello Voxel lovers and welcome back. Today I am showing you some of the latest features in our September 2023 Vox Edit release. If you are new to Vox Edit, please do go to our tutorials in the menu bar and work your way through these tutorials to learn all the basics that you need to know. Now to go over the new features. These are time slider keyframes, cluster free camera navigation, selected node and face count, and user default palette. There are also some general improvements like the Vox Edit generic palette has been updated to being a more usable one. Library models are now sorted in alphabetical order. Deselect all added to animator, which is Control or Command W. And much more that will be in the change log. Let's go over these new features, starting with the new standard palette and the ability to change your default palette. This is the new standard default palette that will be shared across all models now. We now have the ability to change our default palette. Go to the three dots menu here and click replace default palette. It's important to note it won't actually change the palette for the model you are currently in. To see changes, you need to open up a new VXM and there you will see the new palette. Let's do that. We go to the menu, new VXM. And here we have our new default palette. This will be applied to all new models created from this point onwards. If you wish to change it back, you can go back to the menu button and click revert default palette. And once again, this will be applied for every model created after this one. Next is the clutter free camera navigation. What happens now is the gizmo will actually disappear while you rotate around the asset. The white bounding box also disappears that used to be there. The only box that you'll see will be the asset that you are selected on. This just cleans everything up a little bit. Next is the selected face and node count. As always, we have the node and face count in the top corner. What we have now is when you are selected on a particular model, it will now show how many faces you have out of the total amount. So for this, we have 305 faces out of the 432 current faces for this asset. This is really helpful for you to be able to find problem areas and make adjustments if you need to keep within optimization. Remember the guidelines for optimization for face and node count is no more than 5,000 faces and no more than 175 nodes. You are obviously free to exceed these, but know it goes against our optimization guides. The final feature is one of the bigger ads in this update, which is the time slider keyframes. Keyframes will now get grouped in the time slider for bulk selection and editing directly from the time slider. Let's do some animation so I can show you this. So all I have done is rotated the bowl and made the fish move. We can control and left click in the time slider. Where we are drawing this box is called the time slider and the box itself is called the selection bar. We can collapse or expand our selection bar. We can copy and paste that selection over here. We can select multiple models and create a selection bar over multiple models and once again do copy and paste it in. This is super helpful for those larger projects where you want to copy and paste the frames but hate dragging the selection box all the way down the nodes. You can even collapse the timeline and select the frames that way. We can collapse. Another thing you can do is group move. Create our selection bar and we can use these little arrows in the middle to grab and drag the selection of frames. This can be really helpful if you've realized that you've created an animation that is going far quicker than you expected and need to extend how long the animation goes for. We can grab and move, collapse, grab and move, collapse, grab and move, and keep going until you have the desired length of animation. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the September 2023 update.
My favorite has got to be the ability to set a new default palette. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Goodbye.